Welcome to the IE1000 video series. My name is Jay Roberts, and today we are going to talk about how to print a sample. Load the media to the table, press the positioning pins, move the media to the zero zero position, press the vacuum and wait until the vacuum is fully running, securing the media to the bed. Press the positioning pins once again, which will release the pins, allowing for print operation. This is a safety feature prohibiting any printing to be done as long as those pins are in the up position. Moving to the SAI rip, load the print file, size, place, and rotate the file as necessary. Select the output mode with corresponding color management settings. Make sure all the settings are as desired. Click send to name, export, and rip the file so that it's ready for the Roland Print Control Center. Move to the Roland Print Control Center and open the file where it was previously saved in the SAI rip. When the file loads, ensure the file was sent at the desired quality mode. Set the X and Y positions. This can be seen in either millimeters or inches. Here I'm going to do a step and repeat, adding five images to the graphic using the multi function. I'm going to add three counts to the X and two counts to the Y, giving me six prints on the board that I have available. Hit the OK button to begin. The next tab will ask about the media thickness. Here we're going to use the auto detect feature, which will automatically gauge the material's thickness. Click move to destination. The printer will automatically go out to the location set It will then read the material thickness using the depth plunger. Once the material has been read, go ahead and hit the print button. There will be one final confirmation about the maintenance station and then hitting yes will proceed to the printing process. The print is completed. With a quick inspection, it is ready for trimming. For additional information, videos, and support, visit RolandDGA.com.